31 degrees today guys it is a perfect day to get in the water and we're going to do our second video with the pli king 750. Plan B is to cross the lake. It's not a big lake and there's a beach. Uh, I don't know, 40 year, 50 year old beach. Let's go over there and see if we can find some stuff because there's absolutely nothing here around the dock except fish. I got halfway across the lake and then I realized I forgot my metal detector. I had to go back and get it. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be better. There's 40 people swimming over here. Hopefully. COVID? What COVID? Ha 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 ha! 
So there is an hour and a half, guys, with the PLI King 750. Really impressed. It actually works really good. I just turned it on again. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to when you hold it up like this. That's how you turn it off and you turn it on, and I keep forgetting that. So, so let's take a look at some of these targets. There's actually some pretty small stuff in here. Little tiny nails. Some of this stuff was down four or five inches. I had to dig it out. I don't know. A lot of it's iron that's been here a long time. I don't know what it is. There's a buckle of some kind. And I made my first 15 cents. So we've got a 1978 nickel and a dime. It's not silver. Now I get to head back across the lake, finish my exercise for the day and have a cold beer. I will hate you. Hey guys, I just got home and I threw the footage from this afternoon's dive excursion at my cottage far end of the lake on the computer and I was looking at it and I just blew my own mind. I didn't catch today that one of those nails, if not two of them, were square nails. Not only were they square nails, they had rose heads on them. Those are 1700, uh, late 1700 nails. And some of that black stuff that I was finding, I'm like, I was thinking in my head, this looks really old, like it's been here a long time. If you look at the chain links, they look like old hand forged I don't know what I found. I'm gonna show this footage to Stan. I think he needs to check this out. And I think we need to go back there and do some more detecting. Maybe on land, we need to figure out, was this part of the colonial um, fur trade route? Because there is a creek that goes out right beside that beach. I think they were using that in the fur trade days 300 years ago, guys. And I think I found a bunch of stuff in the water there. And I never even clued in today. I was just, in the heat, didn't have my glasses on. I don't know, I didn't clue in at all. I'm just like junk, junk, nail, junk. I think there's more to that story. Stay tuned, we might be going back there. 